So Korean, a difficult game today, got down big early and then just seemed to be no way back after that. Yeah, terrible start. Um, you know, this is where we've been crying out for consistency. Feel like we have turned the corner with some of the performances that we've had, even in games that we've lost, we've started well. Um, just never traveled well for this particular game. I think Sheffield went a bit of a, a slump coming in. And so they need a reaction and their reaction was way, way bigger than ours. You know, um, what that I was saying to the guys in the locker room is, is you know, it takes everybody, you know, and um, I probably stuck with our starters for a little too long in the beginning, call a timeout and then you try and give the starters an opportunity to get going. But by that time, we're in that big hole. Second quarter, I think we tied up. We, you know, we got our defense right. We, we only allowed them to get 16 points. But we only put seven on the board in a quarter. That's unacceptable at this level. We, you know, we got to do a whole lot better. Shot 13% or so from the three-point line, which is really, really unlike us. And then the big, the, one of the big stats is when you look at the, the rebounding situation, we, I think we lost 52-33 in the rebounding column. And when I, you know, saying to the guys, like, look, you know, um, this wasn't Mike Tuck. It wasn't Koch. It wasn't the big guys. It was, you know, Retino had nine. Lillard had 10 rebounds. Hemsley had eight rebounds. And that falls on our guards having to box out and keep them off the backboards. But, um, you know, um, it's always tough to win on the road in the BBL. So, you know, we can lick our wounds and feel sorry for ourselves. But, you know, um, we've got Worcester coming up on Sunday and that becomes of um, paramount importance now. You know, what we're doing now is we're taking everything out of our control and hoping yeah. that results will go our way in a certain way in, a, in, a, in, um, in other games. But, yeah, it's a really tough one to take now, really tough one. Of course. You just mentioned Worcester on Sunday. There's just no respite this end of season, is there? No, I think we got was it eight. Well, this one was the eighth one. We got eight games, got eight games to go in, in in the month, and you know um, we just got to push and keep on fighting. And um, sometimes guys are going to have um, down games, and hopefully somebody else can step up. But we can't have a night where nobody can make a three-point shot, and that's what we had, you know, tonight. I think uh, Tony made two or three, but he took a bunch of them also. So um, we, you know, we just weren't where we needed to be. Obviously, it's very difficult to get, take any positives when you lose big, but are there anything you can take out of this game tonight? No, we, we got to bounce back. You know, um, I, think, um, I think everybody had seen us being a team that nobody wanted to play because we were playing so hard and, 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 and there were a lot of things that we were doing wrong in situations. And um, we came into this game pretty confident. You know, we never thought that it was just going to be an easy one, but we came in here pretty confident. And um, we just never, we just never delivered. You know, we just, um, I don't know, we left our minds on the bus or whatever it might be. But yeah, it's 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 one that hurts. Um, I guess if I can find a, a positive is, you know, um, I do feel that we did play for the 40 minutes. In the end, we just kept on trying and trying and um, got a little bit extra from um, from uh, Cameron and got a little something from Evan Walsh. Um, which, which is a positive going into the next game. I was going to mention those two because even when the game was lost, those two were still going full at it, weren't they, for the, until the buzzer? Yeah, um, you know, they, they, that, that's the kind of character that you, that you, that you want to have. You know, um, Evan plays with, his, uh, plays, plays with heart every single time he gets on the court. And young Hildreth is exactly the same. I think he gets that from his dad where he, you know, he's got a never-die attitude, you know. And, and most of our guys are like that, but those two, you know, being British talents, uh, I'm, I'm happy and lucky to have them um, on our roster. Um, uh, if there was something that, you know, that we, we allowed to affect us was, was you, know, um, you know, it's a tough job for the referees to call the game. You know, there are a lot of things that went that we felt probably could have gone our way, little touch fouls that we never got and so forth. And they shot 21 free throws and we shot 12 free throws. So, um, and we're a team that usually gets to the free throw line. Brilliant. Thank you, coach. No worries.